So hello and welcome to the Computer Lab. So in this video, we're gonna be looking at a video editing piece of software that is built into Windows 10. So if you've ever uh, done any video editing uh, on the Mac or something like that, you'll know that they have iMovie built in. Uh, well, you may or may not know that Windows 10 has its own video editor built in. It's not as comprehensive as uh, sort of iMovie that's built into uh, the Macs and stuff like that. And obviously it's not as comprehensive as a purchased uh, piece of software, but it's a good free tool to so, uh, sort of get yourself started with video editing. So I'm going to introduce you to that, uh, just go through the general settings, um, what you can and can't do, and hopefully keep this video to around about the 10 minute mark. So if that's something you are interested in, then please do carry on watching this video. So obviously the first thing we need to do is open the video editor. So bottom left hand corner, type here to search. I'm just going to type in there, video editor. And you'll see there that it comes up with video editor and you can open it from there and you'll see in this top left hand corner it's got a blue line underneath the video editor and the reason why i mentioned that is because you can open the uh, photo app which is the same one uh, so you see here photos app uh, and this is the same app as the video editor so i'm in the photo section of it here now if i click video editor at the top corner up here it then takes me straight back to where I was earlier with the video editor. So depending on which option you have selected, you can get to either or from um, the photos and you can also get to video editor from the same program. So I'm gonna leave it on video editor and I'm gonna create a new video project by clicking on this button here. So at the moment, obviously it's saying your project library is empty and it's asking for a name for the video. So we're gonna call this um, Windows 10 uh, video editor YouTube and then click on the uh, OK button like so. And you can see it's named this uh, Windows 10 video editor YouTube up in this top corner here. We can edit it if we um, misspelt something or want to rename it by clicking on the pencil. At the moment I haven't got anything at all added to my project. So I'm gonna click on the add button up here and I'm gonna add something in from this PC. I can um, insert it from the web or from my own collection. Uh, for this video to keep it short, I'm just gonna do from this PC. So I'm gonna click on the from this PC. And I've got a couple of videos. Um, well, I've got a, um, a JPEG here and I've also got a video that I'm just gonna use for this video just so we can cut and slice them and just add a few of the um, options you've got of zooming in on the actual JPEG there. So I'm gonna click on open. And what this does, it puts it into this project library here. Now this isn't in our storyboard, what, they, uh, what uh, Windows and what uh, video editor is calling storyboard at the bottom. Uh, so we've not enabled this video to do any editing yet. So we need to drag this into the storyboard to edit it. Or if I make sure it's ticked by ticking this option here, I then get this option here where I can place in the storyboard. So if I click on that, for example, it will place this video, which is one minute and 17 seconds long into my storyboard. I can also delete it by hitting the tick button and then hitting the bin over on the right hand side. And all that does is removes it from the storyboard. Uh, it's not actually deleted it from the actual project library. So the point is here, I could have multiple different videos within this project library, and then I can drag them into the actual storyboard to edit along. And what I can also do is obviously highlight it and I can also drag it along. So I left click on the mouse and drag it onto the storyboard like so, uh, and then drop it into this first window. And it's a bit confusing the way it puts these different um, sort of icons or templates in the bottom. So you can drag different options or different videos, should I say, or JPEGs into these boxes. But normally when you see a video editor, it normally have one single um, sort of video timeline along the bottom. All the same, that's how it presents itself. So now we've got the video on the storyboard at the bottom here, we can then start doing stuff with it. So I can add a title over the top of it, or I can add a title card, and we'll start from left to right across these options here. So I'm gonna hit the title card, and what it'll do, it'll put a title card before this video here. So I'm gonna hit title card. And you see all it does is puts a card there, and then I can play the option here. Uh, and it will play the actual title card, I've got nothing in it, and then it starts playing the video uh, once it hits the video. So I can edit how long the title card stays there by clicking on the time there, and then it gives me an option, how long would I like the title card to stay? And say it's on three seconds at the moment, I want two seconds, I'll click on two, and then it obviously will play for two seconds before hitting the full video here. And depending on which video is playing or which part of the actual storyboard is selected, so you can see I've got the video selected at the moment, has the blue line underneath it. Uh, these are my options for this one here. But I've also, if I select the actual title card, then the options change here. So again, I can alter the duration on this menu here. I can also change the text by clicking on the text button. And then they give you some sort of default 
animated styles that you can't edit um, in its entirety, but you can select one of these. So say, for example, I pick this one here, and then I click and type in snowboarding, and then I can position this where I want on the actual title card, and I have these different options. So I'm going to pick this center one here, uh, and I'll just click done, and then you'll see it now plays the title card for the two seconds that we set earlier and then drops onto the actual video on like this one minute 17. So that's all very good, but what if I want to put text on top of this video uh, where well, you can do that as well. So making sure that this one is selected, go over to text, hit the text button. Again, I'm gonna pick the same one. I'm gonna type snowboarding again, like so. And let's pick a different style. Maybe have that one where it's along the top. And we can change the different things in here as well with the filters, but I'm just going to keep it as simple and keep snowboarding. Click done. And now you'll see the title snowboarding on the blue banner. And then after the two seconds, it will go to the video and it will have the snowboarding along the top like so. So that's brilliant that we've added a title onto the video. We've also added a title onto a title card. Okay, so that's the actual putting a text onto the actual video. Let's move on to the trim option. So again, depending on where you are in your video, you can hit the trim button as long as you have the video selected in here. And as soon as I click the trim, it will bring up another menu, like so. And then from here, we can actually trim the video to the size that we want. So maybe we want to shorten the video. So that's the start of the trim and then where I want the video to end. And I might want to end it, I don't know, somewhere like that. And that is the actual section then that it will play so I click on done and then in the top right hand corner it gives you the clip length which is 57 seconds um, long so I click on done so I'm gonna hit play two seconds on the banner and then get 57 seconds notice my title has stayed in the same position and obviously now we've got um, a 57 second clip including the two seconds here so that's how the uh, trim works I've also got the split option which if I click on split I can then decide where I want to split the video. So this might be because I want to put, um, you know, a title card in sort of this area here. I might want to stop it here where um, the snowboard has fallen. And I might want to split it and it's telling me my clip lengths here. If I want to do it smack in the middle, I can do, or I can just bring it a bit further and you can see the clip lengths changing. So I'm gonna split it there just for the sake of the video, click done. So now I've got two clips, so where that 57 seconds clip was, I've now got two, I've got one at 31 seconds and another one at 26 seconds long. And now I could introduce another sort of um, card in there with some text on it or something like that. So I might want to enter some more text onto the, this beginning of this clip and then might want to do adventure, for example. And then, um, I don't know, he fell, something like that. And then click done. And then let's see what that looks like. So let's just rewind it a little bit. So it's currently playing this one. Uh, let me just skip forward a bit because I'm looking at 15 seconds. It's when I get to the 31 seconds mark where it's transitioning across. So obviously going along there, it falls over and then we should get the actual banner up. He fell and then that will fade away and the video will carry on playing like so. So that's a good thing. We can split it. We can add more text into it. It's just a shame it's not. there's no more options with the actual text and a bit more uh, options for formatting the text. But um, like I said, it is a basic video editing suite, this, so it is what it is. Okay, so the next thing we've got along this um, menu here is the motion one. Uh, and I'm going to add a picture in to create motion. So at the moment, I've only got this video. You can create motion on video, um, but I'll do it on the picture because it's easier to see. So I'm going to click add from this PC. I'm just going to stick this um, single photo in. So I've got it there. I'm going to drag that down onto my storyboard and then add it to the end of the video. So now it's going to play the 57 seconds. And then as soon as it gets to the end of the 57, it's going to transition across to here. And incidentally, um, this video editing suite doesn't have any transitions as such built in. So you can't fade from one to the other. I wish they would add it because it would be a nice feature, but they currently don't have it. So obviously we've got what we've got to work with. So we're transitioning across to this static image and you'll see at the moment it's just a static image. It's not zooming anywhere or doing anything. So I might want to increase the time for that. It's on the screen. So I'm going to go for seven seconds. So now it will finish the other video and then it will drop onto this static image for seven seconds. So now we can do something with that and then making sure that we have it selected. We can then click on the motion 
And we've got some standard sort of motion um, movement for in video and in pictures. So for example, I might want to um, zoom in to the left hand side. So zoom in left. So I'm going to click on the zoom in left, this one here, and I'm going to click done. And now when we play, it should start to zoom into this section here. Like it does there, and you can see it zooming in. So that just creates a bit of motion within uh, an image. And it's a good way to add character into the movie, especially if you've got static images, because to create these um, film edits, it's always best to have movement in, in all your uh, sort of transitions across from static images to, to movies. So it's just a good thing to add. Okay, so we've now got a title and a title hovering over a, a video. We've also split the actual clip, trimmed it down, and we've also added movement to a static image. And the next thing we're going to look at is the 3D effects. So in here, there's some built-in 3D effects. So in fact, let me just go back one, actually. I'm just going to add the 3D effects to this clip, not that one. So I'm going to make sure I've got my tick in the box there. Click on 3D effects. And I'm going to drop in a little live sports. I think we'll drop in live sports. So we're going to click that. And then we'll position it up into this top corner. Now, the thing with the 3D effects, you can play around with them uh, like so. You can edit the how they look, uh, how you can spin them around, um, and sort of have them hovering around like so, and then alter it like that. And it also plays some music. So you see you've got a volume button here. You can also attach it to something. So if, say, for example, I wanted to attach it to this um, point here, then I could attach it to the skier here that's coming down. But I'm going to leave it in the top corner. Uh, I'm not going to have the attached to a point. If I click on the attach to a point, it will then ask for which point does it want to be. So if I dragged it and hover it over that person there, you can see the anchor point is wanting to stay there. And I can just make it so that it would uh, keep that 3D graphic attached to this particular area. I'm going to undo that because I want mine in the top corner. Let's have it up there. And the other thing to add, I suppose, is the I can slide where I want this live sports banner to be on this particular video. So I might want it just coming in just at the beginning. So I might want it to play for a section. Um, and you see this is the playhead here. So if I scrub forward, um, and then I might want the actual effect to um, be here and maybe stay on a, a bit longer by dragging these uh, nodes on the end. So let's hit play and click done and then we'll hit play and see what we've got. So let's start it off in the beginning. Two seconds on the banner card. Then we're gonna start with some text there. And you can see the live sports and you can see it is underneath my snowboarding text so that's no good so what i might want to do is go in and edit it making sure it's ticked go back into my 3d effects this is the one that i had selected and i'm going to drag it down so it's in this corner so it's not being covered by that particular item i'm going to click done scrub forward again click play and hopefully we get the 3D effect and the noise effect as well there. So that's the 3D effects. You can pick different ones out of that. Next one we've got is filters where we can add a filter to the screen. So I might want to add a filter to this second film. So I'm going to make sure it's selected. Hit filters. And I can pick up on here on different ones. So I can have a denim effect. You see it change color. And if I give you a bit more of an extreme so you can see what's going on, I'm going to click on arcade. And it, it changes the actual effect of the video. There's pixel. There's loved. Uh, so there's all these different ones you can add to change the actual effect of the actual video itself. Um, I'm just going to leave it on original because it uh, doesn't really show up much on here, but it, it's just nice to know you've got some filters you can overlay onto a video. And then the other thing we can do is speed and slow down the actual clip. So you can see there if I click on the speed, making sure we've got it highlighted, the one we want to edit. And then we can slow it down or we can speed it up uh, if we want to run that one a bit quicker. So we might want that one running a bit quicker and I'll just change it to 1.5 just for the sake of this video. And if I just uh, make sure this video is selected, just uh, rewind it a little bit and I hit play uh, and this video will run um, 0.5 quicker than it was originally doing. Uh, so it's running at one and a half times speed. Uh, so that's it. That's how to alter the speed. Okay, um, next two on here is remove or show black bars. So if you've got black bars on your picture, it will zoom in and remove the top bars. I don't have any black bars, so obviously clicking on it won't make any difference to my video. But if you do have... Um, Sort of widescreen black bars you can remove them by clicking on that icon there and then one next to that is rotate and by you can either push control plus r or you can hit the rotate button and it's rotating the video because that's what i've got selected um so you can rotate it wherever you want by clicking on the rotate button and obviously then you've got your remove or delete button so that's all the sort of options you've got for editing the video you can also add background music and custom audio 
Uh, so say for example we want to put audio onto this particular clip here and we might want to put some background music on. So it does come with some uh, free background music as you can see here um, and you can pick any of these so I've hit play on that one. Or TV tune. Or stunt double. Maybe go for. I think we'll go for the Sundays one. So you've got this other option here where you can sync your video to the music's beats. We're not going to do that, but you can try that if you've got um, a particular sort of dancing uh, music or something like that where you want to sync it to it. You can add that. Change the volume here by turning it up and down. That's how loud it's going to sound on your video. I'll turn it up and down. So I'm going to click done. And what this does then, it adds it to the whole clip. So as I go right to the beginning and then click play, the music starts straight away and it'll just keep playing that loop all the way through uh, the video in each different one. So you'll just keep hearing the same loop going round and round. Uh, you can edit the uh, volume level still. So you can right click on your actual thumbnail down here and you've got volume uh, and you just take that up and down uh, like so if you want it a bit less on your video okay so that's how to add the background music you can also add custom audio so if you had some um, audio files that you wanted to add you can add them in here uh, and then you can add a sort of narration to the video so you know talking over it uh, and they're easy enough to add in by just clicking on that one up there for custom audio and then the last thing to note in video editor in Windows 10 video editor is this finish video option we've got at the top and we click on that and it gives us an option to save it into certain different formats uh, we've got high 1080p which is the recommended at the moment we've got medium at 720p and lowest at 540 most people want to do it in 1080p uh, but if you're only posting um, sort of to social media or something like that you might want to go to one of the 540 or 720 you click on that and your more options button you've got your hardware use hardware accelerated encoding and all that's saying is if you have it ticked like mine is is it's going to use hardware accelerated encoding uh, so your processor or your graphics card to actually encode the video so it, it basically encodes it quicker so i'm going to click export and then that will export it to wherever i tell it to so i'm just going to create it in uh where should i put it into i'll leave it in, in pictures for this one so it's windows 10 video editor youtube mp4 and it's going into my pictures folder i'm going to click export and it will export that video as a single um, video that then i can play or use uh, on other things okay so that's it that's how to uh, edit videos using the built-in windows 10 video editor I hope this video has been helpful and useful if it has please do subscribe to my channel please do hit me with any comments below they are always appreciated if you like the video give us a, a thumbs up and also hit the bell icon to be alerted to any new videos i make and thanks again for watching the computer lab on youtube